Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Network Chuck. So guys, this is the one you've been waiting for. The CCNA giveaway. And by the way, if you want this sweet coffee maker, I'll list it on my site and uh, in the comments below. It's amazing. It's called a vac pot. It's finally here. I'm giving away an INE CCNA training bundle. What? So uh, more on that here in a bit. First, I wanted to cover one thing that always just drove me nuts. How does Cisco create their certification exams? It seems like I study with the study material provided for me. I go to take the exam and there's stuff I never even looked at or heard of. What? There's gotta be some disconnection there. So a few months back, I actually had a chance to sit down and talk with someone from the Cisco Learning Network. Kinda cool. And I found out a few things about how Cisco creates their certification exams. Now I know all you care about is the giveaway. Calm down. I'm just gonna give you a quick tidbit, quick video, don't worry. So how in the world does Cisco go about creating these ridiculous exams? They're challenging. I feel like they do verify your skill set, which is why I love Cisco exams. But who decides what content goes on this exam? Does anyone else picture some kind of matrix room with a bunch of TVs around and the architect is deciding what goes on the Cisco uh, certification exams? Kind of how I see it. it. But it was nice to have a peek behind the curtain and see exactly what was happening there. And you know what? It does make a little more sense now. So here's your little peek behind the veil to see exactly what's happening. So during my talk with the Cisco Learning Network, this is what they told me. The Cisco exam team, the people who create the certification exams, who come up with the questions, this is a little isolated silo part of Cisco. These guys, they want to make sure their exams are the best, that they are going to make you and me more valuable to our employers. So what do they do and how do they do that? What they do is they go out to the industry leaders, the CIOs of major companies, the, the talent recruiters who are constantly trying to fill positions, companies who are huge, who need IT talent. They survey these guys and say, hey, what skills are you looking for right now? What skills do you need from a network engineer, from a security engineer, from a collaboration engineer? They sit down with these guys and figure out exactly what skill set they need to create content for and questions for. So after they've surveyed the top tier companies and, and IT industry leaders, they put all this information together and they create the exam. They create questions, they make it difficult. They make sure that the exam is covering what the industry needs. Now here is where the disconnect happens and it's really interesting. The part of Cisco, the Cisco Learning Network that creates content and study material for these exams, they have little to no contact with the people creating the exams. What? <laughs> so the only thing the Cisco Learning Network gets from the Cisco exam team are the exam topics. Um, sound familiar? We get the same thing. So all these training providers, CBT, INE, um, Chris Bryant, Cisco Learning Network, they have to take the exam topics and do their best to create content to help you pass the exam without actually knowing what the exam looks like. I mean, the exam topics, while they do tell you what's on the exam, they're not like a detailed bulleted list. I mean, it's kind of a broad topic like switching concepts, know about spanning tree. I mean, things like that. That's a pretty broad spectrum of things. So now knowing that, I have a great deal more respect for people who create this content. It's kind of amazing. So if you're like me and you get to a certification exam and you hit a question that you just did not prepare for, that your study material made it seem like this, this type of question was not gonna be on the exam, that's probably why there is a disconnect. They do their best to create study materials for the exam topics, but they're kind of flying blind sometimes. So guys, that was your peek behind the veil. A little tidbit of how Cisco exams are created, a little chat I had with the Cisco Learning Network. I thought it was interesting, so I passed that on to you. Kind of gives you more insight, makes you appreciate the training material you're, you're, you're studying, and it makes you appreciate the exam and, and how it was formed and how it's going to prepare you for the industry. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so the INE CCNA training bundle, this thing is ridiculous. So you know what? Let's do a quick rundown of what this thing is. Let's navigate over to networkchuck.com forward slash INE to see what we're dealing with here. 
the INE CCNA routing and switching version 3 bundle. Everything you need to get CCNA certified. Everything you need. It gives you a quick overview. You've got training videos for both ICND1, ICND2, so you can separate the test. It goes deep into IPv4 addressing and subnetting. ACLs, and then you got practice exams. So this online workbook contains five full scale labs and covers all topics. So you get even more practice. So guys, this bundle, obviously it's it's worth a bundle. Streaming two year, this is an amazing course. You want this course. So how do you enter this bundle? How do you enter to win? So just like last time, you go to my video. This is the old one. Um, and I will include the link to enter. This link will take you to my website. And on this page, you will see the entry field here below. Obviously it's not open yet. It opens at 7 p.m. tonight and will last two weeks. You'll log in using one of these services here. To enter, you'll subscribe to networkchuck.com and then you'll have bonus entries for retweeting a tweet or subscribing to my YouTube channel or posting a comment. You'll get bonus entries so you have a better chance of winning. So yes, guys, CCNA routing and switching complete INE bundle. Two year streaming, it's incredible. You want this, enter now, share it to your peeps. I know you guys want this. Now in my last video, I asked you guys, hey, Facebook study group, would that be a good idea? I did get some feedback, so I am in the process of creating a CCNA and CCMP Facebook study group. Be looking for that. I'll send it out via my website, on my mailing list, Twitter, Facebook. So if you're not already subscribed to those areas, reach out, I'll have links below, I'll put links here, check it out. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this video a bit shorter so I won't be covering any of the cool little segments I've been doing, which I don't know how cool they are. Let me know if you like them or not. And um, for all, you, all of you who got certified, congrats. I will mention you by name in a few of my next upcoming videos. So congrats, guys, that's amazing. I know how hard it is and it really is amazing when you pass your exam. Keep that momentum going. It's ridiculously hard to be studying, working, dealing with your family, trying to balance your life. Kudos to you. Keep that momentum going. I list all my favorite resources for studying for your CCNA, CCMP, across all the tracks, and also other certifications as well, and then also uh, network programmability, Python, to keep you sharp and ready for the industry changes coming up. And um, if you want a sweet shirt like this or a sweet mug like this, I also sell this on my website as well. Anyways, catch you guys next time. And don't forget to enter. The CCNA bundle is ridiculous. It, it's pretty much all you need to get certified. So just, just do it, guys. Do it. Do it. And a crazy big shout out to INE for providing this. This is an amazing thing. And whoever wins this is going to have an amazing advantage when they start their studies. Or if you're in the middle of studying, it'll be a great asset to you. Hey, guys. I thought I'd just add this real quick. I was editing the video and I saw that we just hit 7,000 subs, which is really thanks to you guys. So thank you so much if you've already subscribed, if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks for sticking with me guys. That's awesome. So yeah, if you want to uh, be like Walter, if you want to make coffee like Walter White, this is what you do.